In question 12, we're asked to solve the simultaneous equations. Now, normally in these equations, what you would end up doing is you would multiply, especially where you've got a minus and a plus, you would minus everything on the bottom one by the by the 4, everyone on the top, everything on the top one by the coefficient here, which is essentially 1, and then what you'd find is when you'd add that, you'd add that, you would add that, these two would cancel out. Now, in this case, we don't actually have to do that. And the reason is that on the bottom, we have a simple expression of y plus x equals 7. You know, so any time when you've got a y plus x on its own, it's actually easier to do it the way that I'm about to explain now. So what we can say, uh, we can call the top equation 1, and we'll call the bottom equation 2. And what we do from equation 2 is we just rearrange for any of the two variables. So let's just do it for x, therefore x would equal 7 minus y. And what you do is you substitute that into 1. So since x is 7 minus y, if we put that into one uh, equation number 1, we get 5y minus 4 times 7 minus y. So we replace the x with a 7 minus y and that equals 8. So then we get 5y minus 28 plus 4y because we've got a minus 4 times or a minus y so it's plus 4y and that equals 8. When we rearrange that so we've got 5y plus 4y gives us oh sorry uh, gives us so that should be a 9 let me just do that again. So 9y, and that equals 8 plus 28, as so the 28 goes on the other side, and that's 36. Therefore, y would be equal to 36 over 9, which is 4. Then what we do is we substitute that into any of the two equations. It doesn't matter which. For ease, I'm going to input it into equation 2 again, because it's the easiest one to deal with. So y is 4, so we get 4. Sorry, uh, let's do it with how we've rearranged it. So we've rearranged equation 2 into x equals 7 minus y, which means it's 7 minus 4, which means it is 3. So we know, therefore, y x is 3 and y is 4.